Hey guys, today we are doing a product review from Hit and Move. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. Uh, of course, we have the yellow razor blade. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. As we do this, yep, I'll see everything inside over there. Cut that up. All right, I'll go ahead and put this down. All right, uh, I can see that there's the, uh, the floor mat that they put in here for the base so it doesn't wobble all over the place. Uh, looks like we got the padding and it's an introduction letter. Okay, here we go. We got all the, uh, it looks like the instructions. We got all the uh, screws. And then also we have the plug for the base. So here is the base. You can see that the plug is not in there. So once we fill it up with water, we'll go ahead and stick it in there. And this piece of paper, um, yep, just is basically the warning and directions and important instructions by Hit and Move. All right, let's go ahead and unbox. Let's go ahead and take everything out now. All right, guys, so we just unboxed uh, the hit and move and then we basically placed all the stuff that was inside the box onto the floor. So the way that I want to assemble this is that when you think about Muay Thai boxing, what are you doing? You basically build, when you work on your stance, you're basically going from the foundation and then working your way up. So that's the way that I want to do it. So you think about, uh, you got a Muay Thai stance, you're worried about your, your feet, basically the placement of the feet, you have a slight bend in your knees, you got your hips, it's basically turned out a little bit, roll your hands, hands up, shoulders, and your head. So first thing that we do, we're gonna talk about the feet. This is gonna be the feet, is that we got this base right over here. Okay, once it's filled up with water, it's gonna be 200 pounds. All right guys, we're over here in the backyard and I have the base of the hit and move. So what we're gonna do, uh, as you can see, is that there's gonna be a hole on top. This is the way that it comes out of the packaging. And when you guys unpacked it, you'll know that they have the, uh, the plug. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick the hose and we're gonna stick it inside the hole to fill it up. Now, when, you, when you're filling up the, uh, the base, you're gonna go ahead and stop two inches before it reaches the top. So right over here, let's, I'll show you how easy it is. We'll go ahead and stick it inside the hole. I'll go ahead and turn on the hose. All right, guys, so let's just imagine that this thing is already full. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hose. It's gonna be about two inches above the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I'll go ahead and turn off the hose. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the plug. And what I'm gonna do, wipe that off. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it into the hole. I'm gonna press it in and then I push it straight down. And you can see that there's gonna be all the holes over here so that we can add the other pieces to the base. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and put it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the main pole. I'm gonna put it on top of the base. And as you can see, there's multiple holes. I'm gonna go ahead and line up the holes together over here and I got the two screws and they included a wrench with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it there, make sure that's finger tight and I'll take the wrench and I'll go ahead and tighten it up. I'll get the second one. I'll go ahead and put it in the hole, make it um, hand tight and get the wrench and then tighten it up. All right, as you guys are building this uh, hit and move equipment, you wanna make sure that this is gonna be a key component of it. So as you see right here, they have this things to stop it so that the pole does not uh, fall all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's tight when it comes in to me. And it's gonna go ahead and then stop it. If the bar goes all the way down because this is going in, then you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna to have to kind of put it upside down and then remove the pole. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the touch pad, we're gonna go ahead and insert it. So right over here, I put it into it, and then it's okay, you're gonna go ahead and forcefully push it straight down. So as I go ahead and do that, it's in there. You can see that it's a very sturdy. All right, so the next thing that we have is we have the knob to adjust the level of this. Over here, there's the hole. I'm gonna go ahead and take it, and I'm gonna do it clockwise to make it tight. Right over here, and I can adjust it. So you can see that the height can go taller to shorter, and it's very sturdy. 
All right, guys, so one important feature of the hit and move is gonna be the uh, Japanese bearings. And the reason why that this is important compared to the other products that are out there in the market is that the owner actually did the research and was actually testing it. So as it kind of swings around, he says that if it's too fast, it's not realistic. So other options is if it's slower, it's not gonna be realistic either. So he basically kind of used the product for a while to kind of make it proper, uh, properly and then talk to the manufacturing company to make sure that this is gonna be a standout uh, piece of equipment compared to the others. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on. So I wanna make sure that this is gonna be straight. So over here, we're gonna go ahead and place it. It's basically taking the hole, we're putting it over here. And I'm just gonna just go ahead and push it straight down. And you can just see that it is moving around. All right, so let's go on to the next step. All right, guys, so right over here, we have the extra padding. The zipper is on the inside, and the reason that it's on the inside is so the zipper is not flinging around when you're actually hitting it. So I'm just gonna open it up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that it's upright. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it, and I can zip it all the way. Now, this is gonna be adjustable, and the reason that's gonna be adjustable that if I go ahead and extend it, you can see that it can be a longer reach. If I'm doing Muay Thai, I can use it to work my distance or whatnot. I can throw the teeps, all that, or I can have it in close. So right over here, when we're putting on the arm, one of the things that you'll see is that the bearings, you wanna make sure that this is gonna be flat. I think, uh, well, I don't think, I know that when some people are, are, are assembling this together, some of the things kind of stick up and it's supposed to be flat. So over here, we get the textured um, speedball and you got two options. They gave you another plug. So if you don't wanna use this, you can get that to Keep it flat and for us we're going to go ahead and put this on but if you take a closer look right over here is that you can just see that the way that this material is welded it's very strong so it's not um, welded in just one place it's welded all the way around and you can see as i bend it it's very durable so we'll go ahead and stick it in the hole and it's going to be clockwise i'm going to go ahead and screw this in It looks like we almost got a finished product. Now that we got this ball up right over here, um, the way that you're gonna go ahead and place this or the level is gonna be about that shoulder width. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, loosen up the knob. I'll keep it about my shoulder width. Now, and you can see that it's swinging around. It can hit you. So make sure that you keep your hands up at all times as I'm moving. I'm gonna go ahead and move around with this see what I like about it, and I'll give you guys a little bit more feedback. All right, guys, so I had the hit and move for quite some time, so I wanted to talk about the striking points, uh, but I wanna talk about the striking points in terms of Muay Thai, or for kickboxing. So right over here, I have the, the head, over here, this little foam piece. I don't know if you're supposed to hit it, but I've been hitting it. And it's like for Muay Thai, we always aim for the throat or the neck. Here we have the swinging arm. It's gonna be about shoulder length as you guys are doing this. And you also have another piece right over here where you can actually hit it for elbows and then your hands are gonna be up to kind of protect yourself. I can step back, I can lean back. So the swinging arm is, is good for that detail. Other things that I played with was I uh, was able to kind of move the sleeve, the protective sleeve, out further and longer. And the reason that I did that, I can just do like a stagnant drill where I'm right over here, I can just kind of step to the side if somebody is throwing that cross. And then I can also hit the main body for those kicks. So I use this just to kind of uh, make the adjustments. As it swings back, I can lean back. Now for, for boxing, I know that they basically can duck. So for us in Muay Thai, we don't duck. Not saying that we don't do it, but I like our students not to, to duck because then you're susceptible to get knee. Um, with this swinging bar also, please note that this is not a pull-up bar. So if you have like young kids at home, uh, you're not gonna put like a 50 pound child over here and this is gonna support it. So don't do that. It's basically moved at a horizontal plane where it's gonna be able to hit you. Uh, also, for uppercuts, I mean, you possibly could do an uppercut if you basically pull out the sleeve where there's no hard bar, 
but you can see that if I go ahead and hit it hard or I connect with the, the metal piece, you're gonna see that this will probably break. So use it for what it's worth, and then also for more time as I'm hitting with elbows, again, as long as I'm striking at a horizontal plane, it should be good. I'm not gonna be doing any chopping down elbows where I'm landing on top of the bar. Um, right below it, you have this metal piece. So I was, I, I kind of hit it also, but I have 16 ounce gloves. So I'm able to hit anything on this without hurting myself. Now, if you think you're gonna come into using this hit and move and then going full blast, that's not the point. So I think the, uh, the Century Bobs, I have one of those also, it's good for accuracy. This, what I like about it is that it has moving parts. So if I'm basically hitting, I need to keep my hands up by my face. As I hit, it brings it back up. As I hit, I can block, and we have that other striking post where I can go ahead and hit ooh, with an elbow. So I like that it has this piece over here, and as soon, if, if I hit it, even with the opposite hand, it comes back towards me. If I step in, pop, I got this bar that's swinging to kind of check my arms. So whenever we're fighting inside the clinch, a lot of people think that the, uh, the clinch is just to control the head. No, usually the clinch will be over here to throw elbows, kind of grab the neck, whatever we need to do. When we get to the, the main body over here, again, I don't know if it's, I don't think it was designed for us to go full, full bore on it, but I use it to kick, but I have a little bit different control. I can kick it. You can see that with the 200 pound base, when you saw that we filled it up, this is about 200 pounds right here. So obviously the harder I kick it, the more that it's gonna move. So this is not designed for it to shake all over the damn place. It's just used for boxing. I'm basically telling you that I like this because I can use it for Muay Thai where I can do my teams, my push kicks. You can just see that I'm doing the push kick, but I'm not trying to kick it over. So it's just like when you guys are working partner drills and you guys are doing the touch sparring, that's all we're like looking to do. It's basically kind of touch, boom, kind of hitting, whatever I knew, move back, hit, kind of place that moment as this is swinging around. Other things that you don't really have to use the swinging arm, if you just want to just use it for different accuracy points, I can go ahead and move this bar out of the way and I can just use this to kind of strike, work my movement. And because I'm in my home gym, the one thing that I have is I have the mirrors over here on the side, is that I can watch my form and my technique as I'm working, I can work and place my movements to actually hit. So I do like that we have this main pad to kind of hit, and when we go ahead and throw those knees, again, we're not looking to knock it over. I just want to be able to hit, bring it back down into my stance. I see these parts where I can hit. I can lean back, punch, block, hit, and move. Uh, well, yes, hit and move. I guess that's the name of the, um, of the product. So as I'm working this, um, again, we're not kicking below, we're not kicking this metal piece, um, but we're basically working the pad and everything above the main pole up, we can uh, hit. So hitting the head, we can move. You can see I lean back, hit, hit, pop, block it, pop, hit, elbow, pop. I can duck, pop, hit, pop, 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 hit, pop, 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 And you see, like for Muay Thai, we do a lot of lean backs. So if you have a creative mind, think about that this can be a person that's kicking your face or kicking high, is that I can go ahead and lean back. So one of the things I, I've been doing with this is not so much just trying to get a, a fast workout. What I'm doing is I'm trying to work my technique and then my countering. So as I'm hitting this, I, can, I know my distance, but I'm not freaking out. I'm moving a little bit closer, now I'm gonna to have to move back a little bit. So I'm working different technique where I'm using my hips. So in Muay Thai, we can just lean back and we can go ahead and drop our hands. So that's the one thing that I've been working a lot. And as I'm doing this, I see this target, I can hit with that hook right away. So again, this is one of the movements that I've been working up. I can hit, but this is gonna come back, so this is where I might have to duck. 
Okay, but is it realistic for Muay Thai? You can get away with it if you're very good. But I like it because as it swings, okay, as it swings, I lean back, I see the target, I can hit, my hand goes up right away, and I hit with an elbow, it protects me. I can grab, look what's happening, I'm grabbing the neck, the head area, and I know I got the striking piece, pop, where I can hit with that knee as I'm swinging it. And my body's protected. As I let go, look what's happening. My hand is up protecting my face just in case it swings, it touches. I see that target, I'll step in, pop, and I'll hit. And you can see that the arm is kind of swinging back at me. So, a lot of things that I can work, different types of technique as I'm working it. Now, if I'm gonna be doing a kick, again, I told you this is not for you to just kinda kick the crap out of it, okay? You're not doing any of those uh, crazy things you see on the UFC where you're trying to kick under the chin, but you can use it to kind of hit horizontally, pop, as I hit horizontally, there you go, pop. I can work on my accuracy, I can pop, time, time it. So see what's happening right over here? I can work my teeth, knee up, pop, I hit, pop, hit, Oop. And you can just see, pop, you can see that we can go ahead and move as we're working. Pop, hit, pop, 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 way, pop, and pop, 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 whoop, I pop, whoop, under, pop. So maybe I might have to add more dunking into my arsenal. Um, but this product, I mean, it was, it was it's kind of fun as you're kind of working it. So things that I did was obviously I shot a box. In the beginning, I had my heavy bag, um, but over here, just working my accuracy and just understanding the way that this thing moves, you can just see that I'm just trying to see what I'm doing. Even if it's just hitting the top of my head, because in reality, you're gonna get punched in the head. So even if it hits my head because my hands are low, I'm going to tuck in my shoulders. Pop, hit. As soon as this hits, boom, right down to the middle, waiting for this to swing. Ah, I got that hook. And I can hit with the elbow and all the clinch movements that I can do. And here's another key note. If you hit it hard, guess what's going to happen? It's going to move a lot faster. Okay? But if you're just basically touching it, it gives you time to react. And as you get better, think about what counters that you're going to be able to do. As I'm hitting this, pop, pop, pop in the middle, pop, 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 pop. And you can see I love hitting the post. Reason why, I fight different levels of people. I can hit the throat, boom, body, body. And once I'm working the body, obviously you know that this bar is gonna be swinging. So at the same time, am I gonna get hit? Yes, but that's what fighting is. So even if I'm working this, boom, it hits my face. It doesn't make a difference, I'm still going. Watch, it still hits my face, boom, it doesn't make a difference. I keep moving. Boom, bah, I'm automatically countering. So that could be a drill that you can do as well. Pop, hits, boom, automatically throw. Pop, right here, covering up, covering up. Guess what, boom, I can work my angles. And it's, a, it's like when you have like a star, piece of tape on the ground. I'm thinking about my movement, right? I have the hand out, I pretty much step, and then pivot, and I'm on the outside, right? So you can see this from a different angle. I'm over here, imagine that I basically step, pivot, guess what I'm doing? I'm in the opposite stance, I can hit. Look what happens, I can roll, and I can hit. And I can go ahead and then go right into whatever I'm doing. It's a nice day, so I decided to bring out the hit and move outside so I can give you guys some drone footage. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so we're here on the hitandmove.com. It's H-I-T-N-M-O-V-E.com. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, this website. So over here, the first thing that we see is a nice video. And you can see that there's different people using it all over the place, hitting it and moving it. Right over here, as we go down, there's gonna be disability functionality, spin quality protection, and safety. There are these are like the core, I want to say the core values, but this is what separates Hit and Move from other similar products. So you can read more in the descriptions. Over here we have the product photos. 
Um, you can just see that they have pictures of the bearings, the product itself. They have some random guy over there. They should have used me, but I mean, that's besides the point. Uh, we go down, we have the free training library. So again, you can read more. And I, from what I heard, they're gonna be updating their uh, library uh, constantly as this product becomes more popular. Then you have the trainers. And then over here on the bottom right, you'll see you have the quick links. You can meet the team, you can contact them, the shop, the cart, the checkout, and the return and refund policy. And for, oh, it looks like on the bottom, they have the Facebook page, LinkedIn, they got the Instagram. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to purchase this product. So over here, we went to the three uh, bars up on the top left-hand side. And we're gonna go ahead and hit shop. So I'll go ahead and click shop. So you see that it pops up right over here and it says shop now. So what we're gonna do is the, you have the boxing reflex trainer. We're gonna go ahead and add to cart. So as we wait for it to move, we're gonna go ahead and view cart. You can see everything is right over here. And then over here on the coupon code, so we'll just put tag 10, and then you'll hit apply coupon. And we're gonna go ahead and proceed to checkout. So you'll fill all that information. And then the one thing that we need to do is go ahead and check off the release of liability. So when you go to your boxing gym, you go to your Muay Thai gym, before you even step foot on the mat, you're supposed to fill out a liability form. It's the same exact thing over here. So you'll just basically click onto those two things and you go ahead and place order. Simple as that. Hey guys, thanks for looking at this review. Uh, make sure you check out them at hitandmove.com. And if you decide that you do like this product and you think that it can help you with your training, uh, they gave us a special code. It's tag 10, T-A-G-1-0. Uh, make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. Make sure to subscribe to us for all our updates. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care.